Hello, I'm Florin and uh, today I'm going to record this video uh, telling you about my experience with uh, let's say driving uh, Passat uh, GTE a plug-in hybrid uh, car uh, for the last five years um, this is not a review about the car as such because I think there are a lot of movies about that about a lot of uh, uh, videos uh, it's about my experience and um, I hope this will add some value to people that are are looking to buy this car uh, or similar car uh, second hand um, so today I have to uh, return this car to the lease company uh, I'm going to get a, a, a full electric uh, car actually I already got it uh, but let's talk about this car um, just because the experience of the car will also uh, uh, be dependent on let's say the trim of the car I will, I will tell you about uh, a few words about what it is so it's a comfort line with uh, I would say quite a few advanced uh, um, uh, options so it has the the camera here with a with a uh, lane uh, lane keep assist. I will uh, tell you a few words about it. Then uh, it has the the front assist that actually saves saves me on this one a few times. Um, the the brilliant uh, matrix light. Uh, what else outside? Yeah, I think the wheels are pretty standard, 17 inches wheels. Highly recommended, I would say. It has a relatively high, um, a big balloon, 55. Um, yeah, it helps on, on, on smooth driving uh, and stuff. And you can also see, I mean, these wheels are five years uh, old wheels. Um, uh, the tire, because of the balloon, it's actually taking all the, all the possible, um, let's say, objects that could, uh, could hit the, um, the wheel and you see no scratching and so on um, yeah uh, the foil I, uh, I mounted after the after I got a car and then um, let's let's have a look inside it's also a little bit whoa, cold outside yeah um, <coughs> navigation it's um, I would say uh, <coughs> is not the, the the highest one from uh, from uh, Volkswagen it's uh, this one it's uh, discovery media it's not the discovery pro with the hard drive well this one doesn't have the hard drive did i did i ever miss that uh, navigation no not really it has a lot of i would say uh, sd uh, ports over there <clears throat> it has uh, uh, many uh, uh, usbs that you can use yeah to <clears throat> to load some music and stuff so never never really miss the big one um what else? Uh, uh, heated uh, uh, seats. I love it. Love it. Um, talking about seats, uh, Ergo Comfort with the massage and uh, very good uh, support here. Yes, very good, uh, very good seats. Um, now, what I really miss from the car and options as such, it's maybe a backup camera I, I miss. Um, yeah, panoramic roof would be probably nice. I don't really miss the the, the 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 let's say the folding mirrors, the 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 blind spot stuff like that. I think yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, dynamic chassis control. Do I really miss it? No, not really. Not really. I mean, the car it's is driving smooth. Um, so yeah. Now about my experience with the car, I really love this car. If I if I if I would not have to return it to the lease. I would keep it. I will keep it for at least another five years. It drives well. It's very efficient. It's powerful when you need it. Brilliant car. Brilliant car. Driving in the in a darkness with this matrix light, super good. So I would recommend my experience to look for a car that has, let's say, similar options. Don't go for other things. Maybe I'm I, I'm too pragmatic. Uh, maybe camera in the back, as I said, as a as a as a point to uh, to add now many people will probably wonder well what about the battery yes this car is built in uh, 15 it has about five years now uh, originally with 9.9 .9, uh, kilowatts battery i think the new models are coming with uh, uh, 13 kilowatts battery and obviously longer range so uh, 
many people will wonder, yeah, what do we do with the battery? And the, the engine is small, and what do I do? It's, it's, it's a big car, and the engine is only 1.4. Well, I would tell you the car, it, I never had the feeling is not powerful enough. Because of the electric uh, uh, add-on on top of the, the, the petrol engine, which is a turbo engine, it's damn powerful. And especially when you when you use this GTE mode, if you really need power, if you need sportiness, you press it. The car, it's it's a different car. It's just the, the, the steering wheel becomes uh, more, uh, let's say, responsive, more stiff. Uh, the engine becomes more uh, more uh, responsive, powerful. Wow, it's accelerating like magic. And I mean, for a big family car like this, wow. I would say don't ever worry about is not powerful enough unless you're looking for a different class of car. So now what about the battery? Yes, the car, it's, um, it's five years old. So um, um, what about the degradation? Let me show you something. So the car right now has about 140,000 kilometers. And uh, you can see there the, the electric uh, uh, range. Uh, it's also displayed here. So right now it shows 34. I did not fully charge it this morning. Actually, I did, but I, I was driving a bit. So um, now when I bought the car new, the car was showing six, uh, 53 kilometers as a range. Well, did I ever drove uh, that far? Yes, if you drive like a nanny, 80 kilometers an hour, no air conditioning, in the in the spring like uh, uh, temperature I used to reach 50 now when I charge this car today fully charged it will show about 46 kilometers sometimes it's bouncing 46 48 yeah I think it depends also a little bit on the on the temperature um, so that's about what it's about five to seven kilometers uh, loss on the range yeah percentage wise is about 10 15 percent uh, loss is that a disaster not at all i would say it's it's actually good this car is not meant for long range driving on electric it's the electric engine is just you know it's it's helping you uh, in a, in a city driving it's helping you with uh, with starting it's helping you when you when you need a bit of a kick um so i wouldn't worry much what i would be worried and what i would be more interested if you're looking to get this this type of car try to get the history of how much this car was driven on electric um i asked the volkswagen dealer can i get a report about electric driving i was curious myself because yeah the, the car it's like starting stopping you sometimes you don't even know uh, well you know in, in the display but you don't really feel it is it electric is it uh, hybrid is it it's it's switching between these modes um they say they can't okay but what i do have uh, is the all the history on the electric charging uh, based on the reports I get from uh, from the um, provider of the charging card, and I can tell you, if I add up the the chargings that I do privately sometimes, but also the chargings that uh, I used to do when I uh, when I go to office before Corona time, I end up with about one third of the kilometers being driven just on electric, and that's I would say it's a lot because all most of these kilometers are driven in the cities which means the normal engine the petrol engine doesn't have that that usage that awareness of uh, of a normal petrol engine so i would say the real the, the engine the real kilometers on the engine it's probably two thirds and it's mainly outside of cities where you drive uh, relatively uh, 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 let's say stable uh, rpm um, which i think is very good but if you if you can get that history ask for it coming back to the computer i'm looking at the data uh, from the portal uh, of the provider for the charging card and um, 
I'm uh, analyzing a little bit my charging habits. Uh, you can see I had a bit more than a, a thousand uh, sixty uh, charging sessions with a total energy of uh, six point eight uh, megawatt uh, hour. Um, with a relatively uh, conservative uh, average consumption of uh, 230 uh, watt hour per kilometer, that will give me uh, um, uh, about 30,000 kilometers driven um, on energy uh, from the public uh, uh, charging uh, sessions. Now, I mentioned to you that uh, I have the the possibility to charge the car at work. Um, that's about 16 uh, kilometers back and forth to commute. Yeah, I live pretty close. Um, four days a week. And um, let's say in the weekend or Friday before leaving for the weekend, I leave fully charged, so that will give me another 40 uh, kilometers. Uh, that's about 104, uh, just to keep it simple, yes, some weekends I might not use all that 40, but also on some of the uh, weekdays I need to bring uh, uh, kids to different activities, do shopping and who knows other driving, so just to keep it nice and simple, 50 weeks in a, in a year, um, yeah, there are also some holidays in there, also some weeks missing, so um, yeah, during holidays, I usually also charge at, uh, at uh, private places. I also uh, charge at public places that are for free. Yes, they still exist. That's another advantage of uh, having such a, such a car. Um, yeah, nice and simple. In five years, that's about uh, 26,000 uh, kilometers. And if I add that to the to the previous, then uh, it will give me about fifty five thousand uh, kilometers driven on uh, just electric. Now, to be realistic, this year um, I didn't get to office that often, so I will take out one year of, uh, let's say, office charging and private charging as such. Um, yet I still come uh, uh, to thirty six percent. Uh, percentage of driving on just electric and again this is pretty conservative uh, yet I was I was uh, I was close when I said uh, uh, about one third was driven on uh, uh, on fully electric now what about the cost on this car uh, I would say maintenance cost um, I will have to check the papers but um, Really, that they were only changing oil, and by the way, when they change oil, it, it looks like brand new the oil, as I told you, because of the electric driving that I do uh, a lot. Um, then uh, I think they changed the the oil in the gearbox twice. It's a DSG uh, uh, six uh, gears. It's a it's a wet uh, clutch. Uh, they changed it at sixty and one hundred twenty thousand. Okay, you can just check the uh, check what uh, what the price for that is. I changed the windscreen once. I got a I got a stone, so nothing to do with the with the with the car as such. But absolutely nothing else linked to the to let's say to something that went faulty in the car. So it was just regular maintenance, which I think you can you can find all kind of websites to 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 show you this information. But absolutely nothing. I mean, even the even the uh, the brake pads, because it is driving in this B mode. Uh, let me show you something. I'm right now in park. When you go in drive, then you can also go in B mode. What what is this doing? It's basically using the the the, the electric motor to do engine braking, and you are not using the brakes that much. And it's also a good, comfortable feeling. You're you're driving just with one foot because the car is is just kind of like slowing down when you when you when you release the the acceleration. Um, but it's not wearing the uh, the brake pads that much as in a, in a in a standard uh, uh, petrol car. And just as a as a comparison, when I drive long range uh, with a with just a petrol car, I I can see this powder on the um, from the from the from the brakes and from the discs this powder 
on the on the wheels well with this car um i don't see that and um yeah 140,000 the brake pads are still the original ones well i think it is something um yeah if you have uh, any questions uh please ask in the in the comments i'll be happy to 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 give you more details about my experience So, as I said, uh, stay tuned, uh, I'll come back with, uh, with some other videos uh, about yeah, the experience of switching to the, to the Tesla Model 3 from uh, Passat uh, GTE. Take care, good day.